Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. Now I am going to explain the project. The title of the project is Supporting Search as you type using SQL in database. This project is comes under the domain of uh, data mining. And uh, now I am going to tell the abstract of this project. A yeah, search as you type system computes answer on the fly as a user type in the keyword query character by character. We study how to support search as you type on data residing in a relational database. Uh, we focus on how to support this type of search using the native database language, SQL. The main challenge is how to leverage existing database functionalities to meet the high performance requirement to achieve an interactive speed. We study how to use axillary indexes stored as table to increase search performance. We present solution for both single keyword queries and multi keyword queries and develop novel technique for fuzzy search using SQL by allowing mismatches between query keyword and answers. We present techniques to answer first end queries and discuss how to support update efficiently. Experiments on large real data set so that our techniques enable DBMS system on a commandly computer to support search as you type on tables with million of seconds. Now we move on to the workflow of this project. Here we see that uh, this is the data flow diagram of this uh, for exact search. Uh, now the user entered into the application and he can create the table as what he want and he just wanted to search the table by the prefix and inverted index table and keyword ID. This is the main tables that will already present in the MySQL database. Here we use MySQL database not the SQL database and we move on to diagram for fuzzy search. Here the user come into the application he is going to search the particular keyword in the database here the only difference between the previous diagram and this diagram is here uh, we are implement the gram table that gram table is used to find out the prefix of the particular keyword that is already present in the database by by presenting the keyword we are going to find out whether the keyword is present in the database or not the project uh, this project is uh, implemented in visual studio 2008 and the backend is sql server 2005 this is the main page of the, this project. The project at least a novel technique for a tree ahead search using SQL in database. Here we use MySQL database. And this is the title of this uh, sample prediction. The history and civics we are typing that. And the author is Adiaman Joseph. And the book title is, uh, we give some book title. Like history. We also give the year of that book which is published and now we add that into the database by clicking add button. The message bug is shown to you, record inserter and view that uh, information whether you added into the SQL database or not. Yeah, of course it is added into the database. Okay, now we move on to the next button. This shows another form that contains the main page of this project. Here the exact search for single keyword is the first model and fuzzy search for single keyword is a second model and the incremental computing is third and multi keyword queries and supporting first end queries are f uh, and so on so this is all the models present in this project first we are going to implement the first model by clicking no index based method button here we have to search the keyword which we already enter into the database now I search the history keyword by clicking the search button the like prediction can be done here the record is found in the database and it retrieve and view to, the, to you and we are going to search the user defined uh, function by clicking that button uh, the, that keyword is not present in the database so to you and now we move on to the next form here we are to search uh, index based method by clicking that it redirect into another form here we are going to give the same keyword uh, and by clicking the search button, the record is found in the database and it is shown to you the title and book title. And we are adding into uh, that to the another table. And by clicking the view button, the count of that particular uh, keyword can be displayed in the KID. And we also clear that. Now we are going to find out the inverted index table. This is another table. We are going to find out the same keyword whether this uh, table is containing that keyword or not uh, by here the, the that table contains the count of the particular keyword that is k22 and by clicking the ok button the publication table row id also shown to you okay and we also add into this table and we also view this 
by so that K22 and R16. These are the tables that already we are going to compare the both tables. And now we move on to the privacy table. Here we just give the prefix of the particular keyword. Now we are going to search that, and it is also presented and displayed to you. It is K22 count of this particular keyword is presented. And we are move on to next module. Here overall Excel search for single keyword in index keyword table, invert index table, and prefix table. We are going to find out that prefix can be available in the overall view or not. We are find out that by giving the prefix. Yeah, that is available. It is shown to you, and the information is present in the database. And we move on to the next button. And here we are going to the second model. First, we search for single keyword. That is, uh, we are clicking the first button. That uh, we are giving the prefix, and we are going to give the title, like history and uh, civics. And uh, we just click the view button. It shows that uh, R16 it present in the database. Now we are going to find out the distance between the two string by clicking the find distance. Now the distance is this is minimal edit distance, so it is zero. And we are going to use a defined uh, function because this is same. It's HIS and HIS is same, so that only to mention that zero. Now we are going to the user defined function and it is false. The condition is false. Now we go on to the next form. Here is the index based search. Same, we are giving the same prefix, and by clicking the search button, the record is found in the database, and it's shown to you. And we are giving that history as a keyword, and here we use the gram-based technique. That is also used to find out the prefix that is available in the database or not. By clicking the find button, it shows that it is available. HIS is available, and uh, STO. So it will just uh, splitting the string by four form. Okay, I'm clicking the OK button. Yeah, that string is valid, and we are inserted into the database, and we just view the first search is HIS, and we are just clicking OK button, and we give the neighborhood generation based method. We are using this method. By this method, we are cleaving the position as one, and by deleting that. Uh, the first position was automatically deleted, and now the second position is deleted, and and so on. Now the uh, that person can be added into the database. Now the prefix is not found. I clear that we are going to the next form, and the incremental computing. Uh, this is the third model, and here we give the prefix of the same keyword, like HIS, and find out that prefix is available in that. Or not a similar prefix table is presented, so that prefix is available by clicking the OK button, and we are also insert the same prefix into the another table by clicking the view that that record is found in the 16th position of the table, and we are view that, and we are go move on to the next form. Yeah, and the, here we go on to the fourth model, multi. Keyword queries. Working the word level search. Here we are also give the uh, keyword history, and here we have two model implemented in this form, like Excel search and fuzzy search. It can be combined as follows. Record is found in the Excel search also, like this, and uh, we are clicking the fuzzy search. Yeah, of course the record is also found in the fuzzy search also. And that is displayed to you. And we move on to the next button. Here uh, we are going to the fifth module of this project, supporting first enquiries. Here, exact first enquiries can be find out. And by giving the HIS prefix, and we are going to give the limit for that keyword. Here, in exact search the record is found. Uh, here also we are just combining both the uh, first exact search model and fuzzy search model. Here we have fuzzy search also the, the same HIS prefix can be presented, so it is displayed to you. Now we move on to the next. This is the final model of this project. Here we are going to compare the Excel search and the fuzzy search by implementing the graph representation. By clicking the find button, the graph will be shown to you. So this is the UDF like prediction and keyword prediction and inverted and prefix and incremented and multi keyword 
are also displayed to you. This is the comparison of exert search and by clicking the find button here the UDF UDF means user defined function and uh, here the use the in fussy search we are use gram table so that we are that also showed to you and ngb and multi keyword also compared the only difference between exact search and fussy search is the exact search the only difference between the exact search and fussy search is the exact search we need to give the full keyword then only it, it can able to find out whether that keyword is present in the database or not but in fussy search we are only give the partial keyword by itself only it is easily find out whether that partial keyword is present into the database or not so this is the main difference between the exact search and fussy search uh, when compared to the exact search the fussy search is more efficient and this technique is only used in google search engine also so this uh, thank you for watching the clickmyproject.com thank you